Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Oscar and Tony Award winner Denzel Washington has returned to Broadway in Eugene O'Neill's classic, The Iceman Cometh, directed by Tony Award winner George C. Wolfe. And we caught up with the company during previews here at Delmonico's. You know, it's a monster of a play. It's, it's, a, it's a huge undertaking. What, what, you asked me what am I enjoying the most, I think, is the opportunity to work with George. Yeah, he's just a genius and uh, a wonderful human being and, and funny. And I, I just smile when, when I think about him. So, so that, that's been a great, uh, a great ride so far. It's odd to say, but I'm amazed every night when people stand up at the end because they go with us. It's We're all together in it, you know, and, and the way George has put it together, it, you said you saw it, right? We, I break the wall. I mean, I sit down and talk to people. So so it's 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 a unique and, and fascinating journey. Well, I started in the theater. It's my first love professionally. I'll always come back as long as I can stand, and then I'll sit and, and do it. Well, I initially wanted to do it because Denzel, we, Denzel and I were talking about working on something, and then it settled on Iceman, and then I went, oh, okay, and then that'll be hard, but that'll be fun, and then you start working on the piece, and then you, then you find yourself and your world inside of it. It's set in 1912, but to me, what I think is so stunning about the play, it's about all of us, and what do you hold on to? What We all tell lies to ourselves that allow us to wake up each morning and, dr and drink our orange juice, and at the same time we all must confront truths about ourselves and what correct proportion allows us to go forward and what happens when we're stripped of that who do we become and how can you live without hope can you can do who who amongst us has the bravery and the heart or the stupidity or the heroics to look bleakly at who they are and I'm, I'm normally not a big, you know, I, I mean, I enjoy rehearsal, but it's not. I, mean, I, I, I always like to get it up, get it going, get it, get it on. But I've truly enjoyed the rehearsal process. Uh, George creates such a wonderful atmosphere in the rehearsal room. I mean, it was, it was, it was fun every day. And with this, you know, with this material and this, the, 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 the sheer sort of, you, you know, size of this play, it's like doing three plays, you know. Um, that's hard to do, and George managed to do it. He's, he created an amazing atmosphere in the rehearsal room, so that's been great. Listen, this means something on a lot of levels. You know, just just starting with Denzel, who you know we started together on St. Elsewhere 30 years ago, and not having seen each other since then or worked together since then, and, you know, all the things we've both been through in our lives, and here we are doing this thing together, and two characters who really. They really face off, you know. It's 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 really fun, you know. I, I appreciate it. I mean, the material obviously is it's 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 a great treasure. This 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 American play, but this group of people on that stage, you know, everybody without exception, is really special. And to get to be, you know, one amongst this group, it's a, it's a real gift. Uh, I watched Michael Potts from about seven feet away, and I realized. That's the most incredible craft I can imagine. He's not talking right now, he's just being part of this room. And then, you know, then Denzel enters and one of the finest actors of our generation takes on this role, which is a very weird and uh, uh, amorphous role. It's, it's uh, O'Neill is both incisive and is like, blubber at the same time. So Denzel uh, gives this thing a shape, which could be just a lot of words. Um, I've, I think I've lived in this world a lot in my life. Growing up in Bayonne, my mother is a child of 14, so I've seen alcoholism. My father was a Vietnam War veteran, and I've seen alcoholism. I've seen women do whatever they have to do to survive. And you know what's so great is that in this day and age, everyone's so afraid to speak the things that are said on the stage right now. And the audiences are coming and they're getting a relief. You're not perfect. Some of us are racist. Some of us are sexist. Some of us are broke and doing whatever we can to survive. Some of us are abusing the people in our lives. And it's just everyone's so afraid to admit it and to experience it and to say it. And Audiences are coming and just like, oh, ha, 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 ha. he said that bad word that I can no longer say. 
And it, it's just a relief from all of this social righteousness that is going on, really. I mean, no one's perfect. So audiences are just taking a deep breath, coming, laughing, and enjoying the show. It's a room that is truly collaborative uh, with uh, really smart people, very generous people uh, who are dedicated to the story and not egos. And uh, it makes it work. It's a great, no, it was really great. And humor, a funny people to spend time George with. Is, I worked with George 20 years ago and I, I know I love his work, I love him. He's operating on a level that I can't quite understand right now. He's he is extraordinarily brilliant what he's doing with the show. And that's how watching all these guys work. There's so many legends in this cast and, and uh, this is my first time on Broadway, so I'm just getting to be around like absolute legends and it's been just the best experience. It's amazing, yeah. I'm I'm making my Broadway debut, so it's pretty amazing, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. I, we're working with all these obviously amazing artists, titans, but everyone's been so kind and welcoming, and it's been a very calm process. So it's been it's been incredible. I've only done one one O'Neill play before, I think, which was Morning Becomes Electra. That didn't get done much. Uh, it's a, it's a it, it can be a depressing world, and it can be a very difficult world to get your mouth around sometimes. Yeah. O'Neill is a very unique handler of the American language, not always the easiest. You know, we're very fortunate that Denzel is one of the best handlers of American language in the world, probably. So that's been, it's been a lesson for all of us to watch him, uh, watch him work. And uh, this, is like a, this is like a dream come true, so it's, I'm, I'm enjoying every moment of it. Even this, I'm enjoying it. Just to get to work on Broadway in this material with this remarkable cast and this director, George C. Wolfe, is, is a phenomenal experience because the thing that turns me on the most is process. And this process has been remarkable and it will continue to be throughout the run. Not that I've ever seen this play before, because I've been scared of this play for the majority of my life. All these things that are just so, you know, I mean, O'Neill's stage directions alone, it's like, oh, geez, you know, and then we get inside of it, and I love all these guys, and I, what well, George is, I've worked with before, and, and, and I just, he's amazing. He really is amazing. This play, well, this play and plays by O'Neill changed Broadway back in his day, and they changed the nature of theater in America. And so, to be in it with Denzel Washington, uh, bringing his not not only his obvious uh, star power, but his chops. You know, bringing the, a, a man who should be playing this role, filling it so beautifully, and and uh, with a cast of people that I've watched or acted with, I feel like we're already an ensemble because of the lives we've lived together in the last 10, 15 years. So, it's I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> and George, I just respect and admire as much as anybody I've ever, you know, worked with in any capacity in this business. His enthusiasm, his knowledge. I mean, there's 20 whatever characters in this play, and it's like at times George knows each character's journey as well, if not better, than the actors do. And his ability to do that is pretty phenomenal. And his energy, his enthusiasm, and his humor. It's the most joyous thing is to is to get to interact with uh, a great director like that and one who you know not only is full of insights about the world of this play but is is fun and funny and and is full of love so that's the best part in a word i say to myself before going on stage i'm on broadway <laughs>